What's up guys, Sebastian here with Walker's Vintage. Today we'll be reviewing the Fender Tone Master Super Reverb. This amp is the latest addition to the Tone Master series, which is now well known for their modeling amplifiers that faithfully recreate the feel and sound of classic blackface Fender tube amps. This Super Reverb is just fantastic. It has many cool modern features that come along as perks of it being a modeling amplifier. It's light, it sounds great, and it feels truly like a, like a tube amp. So before we dive in into more details, I'll be showing you what gear we're gonna use in conjunction, which is this 1992 Stevie Ray Vaughan Stratocaster. It's a fantastic guitar. We'll be also using a Dumlub Wawa pedal, a Tube Short by Ara, which is a Tube Screamer style pedal, and then finally the Fender Pinwheel Leslie type pedal. Before we jump into detail, let's go ahead and play for a bit. This being a modeling amplifier, it is a complete different animal compared to a traditional tube amp. Starting off with the weight, it sits in at 36 pounds. That's thanks to the fact that it does not have tubes or transformers, and also it has uh, neodymium speakers. These are Jensen's PR10s Neo. And it just makes for an amp that is super light. Traditional Super Reverbs are very heavy and they're a pain to carry around. This thing, I can almost lift it with just one finger, and it's great. You still have all that big sound on an amp that weighs as much as a Princeton. It also has a DI out in the back, which comes with IRs or cabinet emulations available, which really helps for recording silently and emulating the sound of a mic'd up cabinet without really actually having to mic up the cabinet. 
We also have a built-in attenuator that helps you bring down the volume of the amp while keeping all of the tone. And since the amp is digital, this transition happens very smoothly and gradually. Right now, we actually have it turned down to about five watts, but you still have that classic raw Fender Blackface just you know, cranked up tone, and it pairs up really well with a guitar like this. Like I said, this is a 1992 Stevie Ray Vaughan Stratocaster, and it has many cool features that are very similar to Stevie's number one. Starting off with the tremolo, which as you can see, it's reversed. Uh, the traditional has the bar all the way at the bottom. This one has it on the top. And it's a very interesting experience. It takes a, a little bit to, to get used to, but it just feels you know, and sounds like Stevie. The neck profile is a 60s oval with a Palferro fretboard, and it also has jumbo frets, which feel really, really good. The pickups are Texas Special, which again, they just help you get that Texas sound. And overall, it's a guitar that plays really well. It's not too heavy, and it looks awesome. If you're a Stevie fan, you can't go wrong with one of these. Also, the pedals that I'm using are really good at recreating that classic Stevie sound. I have a Crab Baby but Down Love, the Aura Tube Short, which is a dual Tube Screamer type pedal. Uh, in one of the channels, you can toggle between an 808 and a TS9. We'll be using the, the 808 side only. And then finally, the Pinwheel by Fender is helping us get some of those classic Stevie Ray Leslie sounds. So that's about it for this combo. I'll be playing a bit more in a second. You guys let me know down below in the comment section what you think. If you really think it sounds like Stevie or if it doesn't, in my opinion, it really gets close to that SRV sound but again no one can sound like Stevie but the man himself so yeah let's go ahead and get some more sounds out of this <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to pick up any of this gear for yourselves, I'll be listening down below in the description. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoyed this video. And if you're ever in the Miami area, drop by our gallery. We're located in the area of Wynwood. My name is Sebastian. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. <laughs>